Okay, folks, so we're taking a look at another independent distro called KAOS, or as I like to pronounce it, Chaos, I guess is what it's called. And what makes Chaos different is, one, it is an independent distro that very much focuses on one display or one desktop environment, which in this case, of course, is KDE, and uh, making a lot of use of QT technologies as well as they have uh, gone ahead and made use of the Pac-Man uh, software manager. Yes, the same Pac-Man software manager that's used in Arch-based distros, but of course this does not have access to the AUR because even though this uses Pac-Man, it is not Arch-based at all. So basically the aim of this, uh, looking at the website and about, it's basically for folks who really like uh, KDE QT technologies and want something a little bit more independent. So I'm gonna start off by doing the installation and we'll take it from there. So also a Calamari's type of installer. Uh, so select language, I'm gonna choose American English. Gonna go next. Um, here they have a whole bit of a uh, street map type of uh, location thing going on. Um, I'm going to say next English, English US. Uh, and here you can choose do you not want LibreOffice? Do you want no Office Suite? I'm going to choose to have LibreOffice installed. Do you want a minimal installation? where basically it removes all the extra applications and you just decide. I'm gonna just stick with LibreOffice. I'm gonna go next. And yeah, this is nice. You know, it gives you the option, do you want Pipewire or do you want Pulse Audio? I'm gonna choose Pipewire, which of course is a lot newer and a really a great successor when it comes to Pulse Audio. Next, I'm gonna raise the disk. Uh, interestingly enough though, by default, they use the XFS uh, file system. I'm gonna choose that. I'll just do a swap to file and use XFS next. And here, of course, it gives you the option. Do you want to use Grub as the bootloader or no bootloader? Well, that's not much of a choice right now um, on this because if I don't choose a bootloader, I'm not going to start it up. So I'm going to use Grub and additional details. So my name, I'll just call this Chaos VM. A strong password. I'll reuse the password as a root password. Or do I have to use a really, really long password? Okay, I think I can ignore that. Uh, I will reuse password as root password. Next. Okay. And here, just a high level summary of everything next and install it now and basically it's going to walk through this little uh, slideshow where it warns you that the first portion might be the longest what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it install this or at least get until the end and then we'll come back okay we start now Really nice uh, clean login menu, and here we are. Just gonna fix up the resolution so configure display settings 920 by 1080. Keep the settings, and here we are. Chaos out of the box, so uh, really nice introductory uh, section here, all about customization, and quite interestingly enough. Uh, menu on the right hand side and all of these apps over here but um, even a little indicator pac-man indicator to tell us there's 10 updates available but let's uh, work through this so widget style um, I'm gonna keep to the default widget style I'm just gonna close that plasma theme Uh, Windows decoration. Okay, so I'm gonna actually go back to Plasma theme and I'm gonna just choose this MDI dark. Um, okay, 
uh, mouse behavior. I'm just going to invert the scrolling icon set. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'll just leave it in the dark. Uh, virtual desktops. I'm not going to worry about that. Screen settings. Okay, we've already fixed that. Colors. Uh, I'll just say from current wallpaper, whatever that is, and font settings, um, etc. So that's uh, really nice. Uh, quick way out of the box to configure your machine. Uh, packages. So if I click on web browsers, yes, here gives you the option what type of browsers do you want. Is there really no browser installed? There must be. Okay, so Falcon is pre installed. Uh, so let's say I want the Otter browser. So I'll just change that to enable, I guess, music players. Uh, let's say I want Q in an amp. I'll just change that to yes. Um, Office applications. I'll just choose Calibra and I'm going to say install selected packages. Okay, yes. And I believe at the same time, it's also probably going to download the upgraded packages as well. So I'll just let that continue working in the background there. Uh, wallpaper. It just has one. So, oh, okay. So it scrolls like this. Um, okay. Up and down. Interesting choice of wallpaper. So I'm just going to say download. Alright, and let me just go configure desktop and wallpaper. And it just downloaded that from you, Splash. Really nicely done. Uh, really subtle way of doing it, I must say. Okay, docs, uh, asking smart, what on earth? Okay, asking questions and reporting the smart way. This is just when you report for the actual um, on the OS side on their forums. Um, Pac Man giving you info on how to use a Pac Man, uh, how to switch in between free and non free video drivers, uh, additional kernels, where to find them, the info about them. Um, then of course the KCP, so Chaos also has community packages as well, which also has a couple of uh, package build scripts that uh, you can go install additional applications. Kind of kind of similar to the AUR, but uh, a lot smaller and you, it's really easy for anyone to contribute uh, to it as well. Uh, advanced firewall. So firewall's not enabled, that's fine. Energy savings, uh, whatever energy settings we want to add. System D, daemon. Okay, so this is basically to what services do you want to automatically allow to start, add, boot up, or disable, dis or enable using system D. And of course here is a whole state, so it's a system monitor application so you can see here hard using cpu usage 2.4 gigs of memory um, and we're using the lay one of the newer kernel 6.4 um, i should point out this is a rolling type of distro so uh, even if there isn't a new ISA out all the time you can uh, continue to upgrade uh, the os uh, here if you want to add additional users Network management, KD wallet configure search. So that's basically for uh, K runner, your Pac Man cache. So if, uh, you obviously, if you want to clean up Pac Man's cache, uh, do what default applications are you using? Nice touch that. About news and quit. Okay, so. I also believe it's finished installing those applications. Uh, so let's go to internet and 
Uh, okay, Otter Browser is installed, uh, which I remember we chose as an example earlier, which would also mean that under Office, yeah, Caligra is installed. Caligra being at the KDE Projects uh, word processor and uh, Excel PowerPoint Office Suite. Okay, so right on this side here as well, uh, the Info Center, we're using the latest KDE Plasma software 5.27.8 and uh, one of the newer kernels. And as previously mentioned, uh, Chaos is a rolling release distribution. Here, a uh, standard bunch of KDE applications. Uh, Although it does, for example, support C file out of the box, um, which is an interesting choice instead of next cloud. Uh, under the utility side, basically, does have them pre-installed system suite the spectacle um, Staser, which we saw earlier as a system monitor, etc. And of course, to add or remove applications visually, they you make use of Octopi, which is used generally for um, Pac-Man. And as you can see here, at the back of the back end and the the various settings, so you can exit that. Over here, sticky notes, calculator, uh, workspaces. Yeah, how they've gone and themed um, KDE's farm manager, of course, good old Dolphin. This is uh, Kate, the text app, and of course, Falcon, the default uh, web browser. And then down here, clipboard contents, volume, networks, and display. And these are the 10 updates, so I'll just apply these. Okay, it is up to date automatically. So, really interesting. I, I'm intrigued to know. Uh, okay, so Octopi is a software manager. Can you install uh, flat packs on Chaos? And yes, you can. So it's actually pretty easy to just go ahead and install um, Flatpak applications um, and enable it, of course, for Flathub, but there is no uh, GUI application to, to handle that. So interesting choice here. So who is this so much for? Well, you know, if you really like KDE QT technologies and you want to destroy that, uh, independent and you really like the Pac-Man software manager but you don't want to uh, go ahead and mess around with full Arch or, or Arch at all and you're happy with installing additional applications maybe by a flat pack then yeah Chaos is definitely something to look at it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea but uh, I must admit I've seen how this distro has grown in the last recent couple of years and it's amazing to see uh, the improvements they've done. So look forward to seeing uh, future revisions on this distro. If you use it, have comments, leave them below. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye for now.